You see? It, see what you, what you said it to me? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you gotta call me out. Literally you said it to me. <laughs> Not supposed to say those things, things, All right, here we All go. Right. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Inspired Voices. My name is Oliver Riera, and this <laughs> today is David Peratt. What is up, man? What AKA up? the Beast. The Beast. You still know him as a Beast, right? I am. Yeah. A lot of people don't know my real name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, I bet. That's a thing. Why don't you tell everyone what you do? I am David Pratt, uh, owner of Nine Studio Productions, a um, film company, but we do anything, video, weddings, corporate, you name it, we do it. Yeah. I mean, you've been growing a lot on that, man. A lot. Uh, so a the last time busy. we talked, you were on the first season, which was like six years ago. I know. I'm calling it the first season. <laughs> I think that was like starting it out for real. For yeah, real. you were. You were. Because like I was actually listening back a little bit and I was like, oh, you just like kind of just started, not just probably started, but just in the like beginnings really of your uh, like heavy. production company. Yeah. 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 It was um, it was, it was the beginning and it's just been a grind ever since, brother. Like, yeah. Nonstop. It seems like it. Nonstop. Um, <laughs> so damn six years ago so tell me about tell me about what what's been going on uh well how did how did because how did uh you got covid in there and stuff like that you're yeah. still grinding it out then i was grinding it out man a lot happened in covid yeah uh, it's a blur for me it, it so yeah uh business still growing yeah got married yeah had a baby yeah yeah, man. Yes, Queen. Is it? <laughs> 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 uh, it, was, it was just like things just got fast forwarded, man, because, you yeah. know, you're on lockdown. When was that? Oh, was that during COVID? During COVID. Really? Because, you know, normally, especially for me, like that whole type of situation takes a long time. Mm -hmm. But if you lock down, like that, it speeds it up. Yeah, yeah. You find, you out, what, you find out who you with mm -hmm. immediately. Because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people broke up. Mm -hmm. Some people like committed suicide. Like it was bad. Yeah. Like some pe people really realized who they were around. Yeah. You knew who your person was. Mm -hmm. You had and time to either, think. Either <laughs> made it or it didn't. Right. Like I seen a lot of people like married for like years mm -hmm. and got divorced. Yeah. It was crazy. But for us, it it brought us closer together. So you guys were together before the COVID. Right before. Right literally before. a month. Like made, living made together? Huh? Like living together? No, I had my place. She had her oh, place, okay. but we okay, like, you know what? Because she has, she has two boys. Mm -hmm. So we like, you know what? I had like a bachelor pad, you know what I mean? So right. I was like in Raleigh. So I was like, you know what? I just come over here, crash here, make sure everything's safe. But that's when they were like, we're going to shut it down. There might be police coming around. So we were like, mm -hmm. I'm going to come there. Yeah. Just make sure everything's safe. Nobody doing nothing stupid. But uh, Damn, and that helped you guys uh, grow closer together. Dude, we like started a podcast. We start doing like cooking stuff together. Yeah, because she she's a uh, creative as well. Absolutely, and she's a photographer. Right, she's yeah. a photographer, Bulgarian. She cooks like crazy, so it all just worked out. Yeah, and being together like that, man, it's it just fast forwarded everything. That's interesting. Yeah, it, it, was, it was it was it was from God for real, man. What what kind of things uh, was it that kind of made you stick around together? She was just she was just different. I always said I might have to get a wife out of this country because. No knock on the women here, but like so many people are just Americanized and it's mm -hmm. just, just different, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's the head ain't right, especially now, like this generation now. Right. These yeah. women out here are just it's weird. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there's some gems out there. But oh, well, there's yeah, some yeah. gems. As They're far hidden. As the majority, I guess. The majority, yeah, man. There's definitely some great women out here, but it's hard to find them. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So right. I feel like God brought us together. And we're in our forties, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And we found each other and it just worked out, bro. Yeah. It's I, just I was, different, man. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, I I'm together with my girl right now and it's uh it's different too. It's yeah. it's one of like the first relationships I've had where it's where it's like she's like wife material, yeah. she like is my piece. If I'm slammed at work Everything. editing all the time, uh she makes sure like, Oh, let me cook you some dinner, you know and all that kind of stuff and just really wants to take care of me which makes in return makes me want to do Absolutely. stuff for her because i'm like a acts of service kind of guy yeah, so that's what i am too and so it just kind of yeah. works out the balance is great people don't understand with men it's our peace yeah if we have our peace that's that's over half the battle yeah if you can give us peace and just let us be who we are and just be that helpmate and just add to what we're trying to do mm -hmm. not hold it up like i don't know about that you shouldn't be like okay 
especially as creatives, mm-hmm. like we have weird hours. Like we do weird stuff at weird times because like man, not, like, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go on the freeway real quick and do this. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Something crazy. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta support it, man. Yeah. Just be like, okay, let's let's, let's bring it to life. <laughs> That's all we need. Yeah. It's very very simple, but a lot of people I, I don't think, do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of people don't. I, you know what I come to realize too, uh, being with her is that trust is goes down to such a deep level mm-hmm. that I never understood before until mm-hmm. I met her. It's everything. And it's like. Uh, and it's the little things like, uh, oh, I want to do it this way, or I want to go here, like trusting your judgment. Yeah. But she wants to do it her way or a certain way that's not as effective. Okay. And it's like those kind of little conversations, those little conflicts mm-hmm. that make me think, oh, that's trust based right there. Mm-hmm. That she doesn't fully trust me when uh, when yep. there's some conflict there. Yep. Yep. That that, well, once again, as men. Peace and, and trust. There's just no, nothing to add to it. If you if you trust us, I, for me personally, that, that we like, I would look at that as like, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I'm like, yo, get your bag, let's go. We need to go right now. Something's happening. Yes. All right, let's go. Exactly. Like, don't ask no question. Why? What we got now? The zombie and AJS. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. you need like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Quit yeah. asking questions. Let, let's go. Cause yeah. we're not going to lead exactly you wrong. That's exactly it, man. You know that's what exactly I'm saying? It. Yeah, it is what it is. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> especially that. I think that's the perfect example of of what I was trying to say for sure. Absolutely, man. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, so you guys were together. You guys are both creatives. Mm-hmm. Um, how how did how was that uh, interaction? Uh, well, I guess the uh, relationship, the creative relationship. Okay, so she's like she's creative and she has her style of doing things, mm. right? So I know how I am as a creative, and I know what I will want for someone that's creative as well. It's not to change my mind on anything. It's to build upon something like if i if i if i don't know something mm-hmm. she'd be like baby try this you know this will work for what you're trying to do like if i'm trying to do some of the shadows and i'm trying to do this and i'm not trying to like, well, what i need to do oh baby just come here and do 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 perfect for that yeah you know what i mean and it goes back and forth like she was a photo- she was a photographer and what she for the business she took over the photography side you know i do both of them mm. she took over the photography side and little things that I see, she's like, I'm trying to figure this out, or how can I do, you know, lighting and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it, babe, do this. Like, oh my God, it looks so much better. So <laughs> we just kind of help each other, like wherever we're lacking, all right, cool, show me, I'll show you, and just go vice versa. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's important, man. Absolutely, because nice. a lot of people, you can't ask for help, mm-hmm. just like normal people. Mm-hmm. They, be like, they ain't showing you, because they think you're trying to like take the job or something. Yeah. It's weird. Like, there's a lot of money out here for people, but. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten the, uh, uh, I'm a woman, I could do it myself oh God, kind yeah. of thing as mm-hmm. well. I'm like, oh, I was just trying to help. Listen, you know, I let them fall on their face. All right, you got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> You don't know, huh? <laughs> yeah. We were supposed to learn from each other. We're supposed to help each other. Absolutely. We're supposed to be there for each other. You Simple. Know, there's not a fight. I'm not looking for Simple. I'm not looking Simple. for people, misogynistic or anything like that. And you're in the same house. This is. What we don't know, we don't know. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Yeah. But we can talk to each other, help build each other. So when we go out to the public, oh, we know everything. Yeah. We know it all. Mm-hmm. And it's so, it's so simple. Mm. I think a lot of people just make it, they make it hard. Yeah. yeah. Very simple. So you guys were together first, but when did the business side of it come together? Well, she saw, she actually, how we met through a friend, she saw something I shot for. One of my friends, she's like, oh, he did a good job, you know, blah, blah, whatever. So, mm-hmm. and I'm eating that way. But the fact that we do the same thing, it almost was like, hey, you want to come with me on this on this shoot real quick, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'll come over and be like, hey, you want to come? You know, whatever. So it just kind of like started gelling together because before we, I think we were together for, I don't know how many months before we got married. It, it was crazy. It, yeah. it, it happened. And... And I always said my wife would be the one to like a blessing because you know we do different things is to be able to be in that same creative space mm-hmm. like video production photography or whatever so she once we got married 
They're like, man, let's do it. Let's let's go ahead and make it happen. Yeah. Like she was on the books in the company, you know what I'm saying? CEO, you know what I mean? So let's go. Yeah. Let's let's, let's do it. So she, CFO, I'm sorry. Did, did she know the oh so she know she knew more of the the business side of it as far oh, as yeah, like, man. Depth? She, she 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 has the business side of it because she's ran the business before. Mm-hmm. Um but once again, it's, it's still stuff we're trying to learn about it. But she 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 brought in the parts of my baby. I'm gonna get your credit right mm-hmm. because with a higher credit. Because me, I just, I pay stuff with cash. Like look at mm-hmm. on some drug dealer stuff. What? <laughs> not supposed to say that. Not my bad. Oh, this, this is a joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is this live? Um, <laughs> but I pay if I don't have it, I'm not buying it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But she like no baby. Trust me, it's credit. I, I my jump with eight hundred something. Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I bet. So I trust her. Mm-hmm. And she's like, don't worry, I got you. And my joint just been going up. Nice, and man. for business, that's very important. Yeah. They do check it. Yeah. And trying to get like spaces and everything. So it's like, you need that credit. Mm-hmm. And then it pays off. And build that credit. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Especially for the business. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You got to come up to the studio too, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, where is it at? Where's your studio? It's Carrie. Carrie. All right. Yeah, off of Evans Road. I'm sorry? Off of Evans Road. Like, right, like literally like five minutes from the airport. Oh, okay. Like off, uh, if you're coming from the airport aviation, mm-hmm. left on Evans, and it's right over there. Oh, hey, okay. Yeah. All right. It's, yeah. it's pretty close, man. Yeah. You got to come over there and check it out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I looked out on that one. I kind of drive by there all the time. Not like exactly there, but like. Right, right. If you're pretty much anywhere right. near the airport, you come about the studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <pretty laughs> It's much. right there. We have clients come from the plane. They're like, you close to the airport? Yep. You have clients? Oh, clients. clients. I thought you said clients. clients. <laughs> <laughs> clowns coming over, man. You know Hong Kong, you know what I mean? There are people fly in and just say, just right there, man. Right. Love it. Yeah, that's great, man. Um, mm. So you got a lot of clients from kind of all over that fly in? All or? over, man. Is cause that's nice. We, we, we touch a lot of corporate. Mm-hmm. Corporate's where the money is. It may yeah. not be the most exciting, right? But it's but they cut them. Checks. They got the money. They yeah. cut them checks, and they all have a budget. Like I've seen so many people's budgets; it's ridiculous. Some people have that on like five hundred thousand for just marketing. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, let me get a piece of that. Mm-hmm. So they fly in from wherever, or we have to fly out. So airport is right there. So it's it's, it's perfect, man. Yeah, yeah. Is that, and of course, uh, local local stuff as well. Right. Is that something that you're you both are getting like clients? Yeah, absolutely, because because okay. they go hand in hand. So with corporate, like they have all their marketing and videos that they want to do, mm. and with that, you need headshots, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. you got the headshots, and you got the like the key card headshot, like all of that. So for for the uh, websites, mm-hmm. and then for the like, badges, mm-hmm. you know, so when they walk around and buzz in everywhere, like they need those shots. Yeah, and a lot that we see the the, the pictures are just outdated. Yeah, and that's really the biggest thing. The way we do all this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And put, like, retainers are amazing. Oh, retainers are great. Retainers are I love retainers. Amazing. You yeah. know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't yeah. man, y'all trying to do another? I'll see you next month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the contract. Exactly. It's in the contract. I'm here for six months, baby. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we good. Yeah. Uh, that's great, it, man. Yeah. Um, so talk to me about the kind of, like, the level changes of the business. Because you went from your solo self Mm-hmm. And then now you have uh, a woman uh, that became your wife. Mm-hmm. I said it weird. I don't know why I said it. A woman. <laughs> a woman. These women out here. <laughs> uh, women. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least okay, I didn't man. say female. You know? Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> um, but you also became a dad. Who? Right? Yes. Stepdad? Step, well, I call it dad. Yeah. Dad. They're, they're mine. And then we had a daughter as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, that's right. That's right. That's right. So two boys and a girl wow. immediately. So like uh, going into it, obviously, you knew that she had kids before. Right? Mm-hmm. So um, do you feel like you were kind of ready to go into that kind of relationship? Years and years ago, uh, I was like, man, no, I just want to have my own. Like, I'm not going to have nobody has kids because, you know, you're younger. Mm-hmm. And, you know, back in the day, that was like baggage. You know what I'm saying? Like right. kids. But when you get to a certain age, like I'm song, it's almost hard to be like, you 40, yeah, I want a woman with no kids. But like, really, that's that's kind of rare. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. You gotta the older you get, <laughs> you gotta be realistic about it. But I always said I always wanted two boys and a girl. If mm-hmm. I had to have multiple, I was the only child. But if I needed to have multiple kids, the top would be two boys and a girl. Mm-hmm. And it just so happened, she had two boys. Yeah, and we had a girl. Nice. And she always wanted a girl too. So. 
It worked out. Yeah. And I got what I want, and mm -hmm. I'm hard on all of them. Yeah. And raising kids, man. <laughs> and it was just a family immediately. Like, oh, really? Oh, because right of COVID, now. too, right? Huh? Because of COVID, too, right? COVID, yeah. You, like, yeah. so just imagine going from, <clears throat> from single life, mm -hmm. chilling, doing what you want to, especially in business, to like, boom, it's five people now. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. How was that thought process? <laughs> That's a lot, man. That's yeah. That's, 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 there's a lot of things you got to get used to. Uh-huh. The single, especially so <clears throat> with your question with business, being single, anytime, anywhere, whatever, I can leave the house and go. I'm going to leave the house. I'm going to go shoot this. Ain't no explanation. Mm -hmm. Ain't no, no where you're going, how long you're going to be there. <clears throat> now, let me uh, let me check. You know, let me like give you the information and this is where I'm going to be and this is the timing and yeah. all that. It's like, no, I'm out. So to break that habit and be like, man, there's somebody else here mm -hmm. and they love you. They want to they know what's going on with you. want to make sure you're safe. And it's like, what? It's, it's hard to kind of wrap your head around it for a while. Yeah. Because I've been doing business for myself for so long. And it's a habit. Yeah, it's a habit. So yeah. to break that habit, especially as men, like to break that habit, it's like it takes some time. Right. right. So, so it's like there's a lot of some arguments in the beginning and stuff like that. Hey, arguments are kind of like, hey, baby, where, where you going? I'm like, huh? I'm going to shoot. Well, where are you going to go? Uh, shoot? Right, right. Like, <laughs> where are you going? Like, um, how long go today? You know what I mean? Like, what am I? So you just got to get you got to get used to it, man. Yeah, you got to get used to it. And yeah. Now it's like, as soon as I get there, everybody got the phone with so and so. You know, trying to do it at eleven thirty on Wednesday. Blah 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 blah. And which is it's just natural now. Yeah, yeah. But before it's like shit. Zoop, 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 zoop. I'm out. Mm -hmm. Grab this light. Grab this mic. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And gone, so it's just a, it's adjustment, man. Yeah, yeah. it's adjustment. <laughs> it's uh, how long did it take you to adjust? Do you think? Like certain parts took longer than others. Um, like it was, I think it's probably like a full year, honestly, bro. Really, it was like a full year of just a little bit by little bit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. little bit by little bit. You know what I mean? So I'm guessing you guys came to. I mean, you're obviously still together, so you had mm -hmm. to have. Uh, have that conversation, the understanding, the balance, the whole nine yards. It's communication, you know, man. All that stuff. Yeah, communication. Communication is very key. Mm -hmm. Very key. And once again, just being single, like, there isn't no communication at all. Yeah. I'm just going to go. So, and I'm a good communicator, but <clears throat> a lot of times I'm like, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just because of how I am. Right. Like, I don't answer to nobody, blah, blah, blah. So, coming from that type of space to being married, it's like, okay, I had to do some some research, man. Let me see some videos on these people been married for like 50 years and see what yeah. they do. Oh, yeah. We just talk to each other. That's what we do. We just talk <laughs> to each other and love each other. I'm like, right. All right. So, just stuff you got to work on, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But once I, you work on it, I mean, life is, life is great. Yeah. And then uh, the amount of vulnerability as well, I guess you could Huge. say, when you're communicating. Yes. You gotta be wide open. Yeah, that's your person. Mm -hmm. Just like, just like in um, like we talked about earlier in, in business. If you don't know something, you don't know it. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. You can't be like reserved and defensive about it. It's like you don't know. Yeah. So when it comes to being married, like it's certain you learn a lot about yourself, a lot. Yeah. So it's like, damn, I'm liking that. Mm -hmm. Man, I ain't doing that. I ain't never cried in front of nobody before. You know what I'm saying? That type <laughs> right. of stuff. It's like. But you come, you come very vulnerable. Yeah, but it's but it's a good thing because that's your person. Yeah, it yeah. is. I guess it's the the thing is how vulnerable do you want to get? Um, if maybe she isn't the right person or is the right Correct. person, and all that stuff. Correct. And uh, I, I'm, I say this a lot. As men, we're very unvulnerable people. Uh -huh. And when we find the person we want to be vulnerable with. That's major. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very important that that woman doesn't do anything stupid because <laughs> we don't like when we're more vulnerable and it gets shut down. It gets shut down or they do something stupid. It's like hmm, another <laughs> seven years of just being single now. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like, yeah, so I kind of uh, took it. I kind of broke that. Yeah. Broke that vulnerability part as far as only being vulnerable to the person that I really trust and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, I think um, what made me grow even more was to be vulnerable with everyone, mm. and only those who stick around are the ones. Okay, that, you know. Okay, are worth it. Yeah. 
That's that makes sense because if you leave, like, all right, holler. Yeah. There's a door. Yeah. This is me. This is who I am. Mm hmm. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. So it kind of worked out in my favor and it kind of it, it lets you see their true colors. True well. that, yeah. So and how they react to things and stuff like yeah, that. I like to wear clown shoes in the bed. How you feel about that? <laughs> yeah. You don't like it? I don't like the way it scratches <laughs> my legs. <laughs> well, you got to go. I'm rocking it. <laughs> On the side of the bed. Caress her with the shoe. You don't like my stuff. <laughs> exactly. It's a size 23. <laughs> <laughs> oh man um damn so you're doing a lot of oh you got you got a, a new studio space too so um, absolutely how long is how long have you been in there uh a few years right? going on, no it's actually going on a year really we, um, damn i thought it was mine nah man i thought it was longer too how long we've been here over a year she's like no nah, it's almost a year baby i'm like oh she keep she keep her mind straight mm -hmm. um <laughs> Before, man, you know how I was, man, in the garage, yeah, in the house, like in between the office and the house, in the garage, all my stuff, just kind of racks, just lined up, just mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff. So now, to have that space, man, especially running a business, because mm. they ask me, hey, man, you got a studio? I sure do. Yeah. Come on up. Because <laughs> <laughs> before- Finally, like, I can say this. <laughs> you know how many times I was like- Hey, yeah, let's meet. Uh, let's meet at the park and do this shoot. Let's meet over here. Oh, uh, we got to rent a studio for that, man. I just, uh, mm. it's gonna cost more. Cor the corporate. Hey, you got a studio? We can come in. Yup. Mm -hmm. Do all the headshots. Mm -hmm. You have that option, and people look at you a lot more serious. Yeah. People are like, oh, you're not playing around. Right. You're actually spending money to have a brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're not playing. Then yeah. But you gonna meet in the park and do headshots? We yeah. can do that. We can come to the studio as well. Right. It's very beneficial. Yeah, how how was that like before you got it? Like, or what 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 made you guys ready for that? Business was just growing, man. It's kind of with life, man. We look at it, man. Like, because like I feel it, like it, it did the business double when you guys came together. Oh yeah, like it grew. Yeah, yeah. because I, I swear, like like God put people in your life for certain reasons, and a woman is a helpmate, mm -hmm. and and she's a mouthpiece. Like she'll go and talk to anybody. Now, like we're cool with the mayor. We're into the um Mooresville Chamber, Chamber oh, of Commerce. Nice, nice. Connect with the Raleigh Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. Cause she out there run like she knows so many people. And like she got the gift of gab, but she's very genuine. She's not like some of the other people out here. She means what she says, she means it. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's talking to the right people. And we got the business, so it's like, yep, you set them up. I'm gonna knock them down. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna do what we gotta do, man. Yeah. So that like, sort of with that studio. She found a studio. Nice. Like I would, I'd be like on different jobs and you know shooting or whatever, and she'd be like, "Baby, I found a couple of studios we need to look at." And I'm like, All right, "Cool, mm -hmm. you know, let's make it happen." Mm -hmm. And uh, it'd be one of the times where she doesn't have to be there with me on set, mm -hmm. so she'll just be working from home. And we ran across a couple somewhere like ridiculously expensive, but mm -hmm. then we found one for like a good price and. They're like, let's do it. Yeah. I, just, the area you're at, too. Like, I used to be a AV technician, worked mm -hmm. for a company and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that's where the offices were. Yeah. Because you, know? you got the offices in front, warehouse in the back. Exactly what it is. Yeah. Exactly. Was, yeah. When, mm -hmm. you, when, you, when you come by, you probably be like, oh, yeah, I was probably over here somewhere. Yeah. It's literally like offices, two bathrooms, two offices in there. Mm -hmm. And then a space in the back. Nice. Very cool. Love it. So Love it. Uh, was it scary getting that? Because I feel like that's a big commitment, right? Uh, not it is, but I've in life I've I've been at the bottom mm -hmm. where the muck is. So yeah. I know what the bottom is like. And I was nowhere near the bottom. They were just kinda like, okay, what you got grind? Yeah. That, that's just my mentality, man, because 'cause I've been homeless, I've been all I've been having nothing. Mm -hmm. So to be able to get that, I'm like, shit, we up. Yeah. We up. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do what we gotta do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not scary. It is what it is. That's why. That's why I make these. <laughs> that's why I make these shirts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I look at it. That's dope. That's dope. That's look at it, man. So yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. If you're coming from a certain place in life, uh, then you you know what the bottom looks like. So you it's know dope. when you're close to there, but you, you know also it know when it's uh, something that can make you mm -hmm. as well. You know when you're elev ele elevated. Mm -hmm. You know how far down you are. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I've been here before already. Yeah, I know this warm area is. Right, uh, right. I mean, it's cold right here though. Hold on for a second. You just know, man. <laughs> right. And that's why I don't stress over anything. Yeah. Like literally, my motto: it is what it is, man. It's like I have complete faith in God, and I know that 
he's not gonna put anything in our lives that we can't handle. Mm-hmm. And if I can't, like, I know that stress will literally kill you because mm-hmm. it unravels your DNA, right? Right. So if I can't change it, if I can't do nothing about it right then, well, I'm worried about it. I'm like, man, it's what it is, okay. Yeah. I ain't about to kill myself over it. Right. So, right. If you can't control it, especially, right? Don't worry about it. Yeah. It'll work itself out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's how I look at it. Mm-hmm. That simple. Well, that's exciting, man, that you got a space. Uh, you've needed. been there for a year. It's needed, uh, man. man. it's like a blank canvas, man, when you get there, huh? Yo, and wifey's like artistic style, man. She went and got all the couches and the pain and all these ideas. I'm like, okay, baby, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it up. My ass, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna put these masks over here. All these crazy masks. I got buckets of blood. Cause you know, I do a bunch of horror stuff right. in my office and then studio space. Maybe you got a bunch of equipment back there. And like, mm-hmm. let's make it happen. Yeah. So, That's yeah. cool, man. Yeah, man. Um, so I know you do corporate work and then you do, you just said you make horror films and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm trying to go strictly films, man. Um, what made you want to do that? I love, I love bringing stories to life. Mm-hmm. And I'm very visual, and I'm always kind of like blanking out sometimes during the day. Like I see the, and you probably do it too because you're weird. I, <laughs> I have all the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you weird like me, but like you see something happen, you be like, <sighs> and then you just start thinking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this would be crazy, and I do it right all the time. It'd be the when we was coming, the movie was coming in, man. It's like we just see movies happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it just, I'm gonna bring that to life. Cause mm-hmm. I, I just want to see it. Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why we do for our, our clients. Like we make their dreams a reality. That's one of our, our, our slogans. So to be able to take what's up here and put it on the screen and be like, "Oh yeah, that's it right there." Mm-hmm. But I'm to the point now. Where I want to. I want to rival Hollywood. I don't. I don't want to be in Hollywood whatsoever. But I want to rival them and have my own studios on this side. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying. So to be able to make money from that and be completely like film because mm-hmm. it's fun that's what I love to do mm-hmm. and just do it like that because either that or I have like only five clients a year and they pay like eighty to a hundred thousand dollars each <laughs> yeah <laughs> you stay you know how it is you're on the ground you know I got 150 clients this year right ranging from all different types of prices mm-hmm. you know what I mean mm-hmm. I want one client to have a big amount of money and another one have a big amount of money mm-hmm. and just do it that way but that's the way to do it yeah, man, it's yeah. easier. Especially if you want to like keep doing your own thing. Yes, you know you have the yes. time now. If I can, if I can just do the movie thing and, and have it work that way, that'd be even better. Mm, yeah, but either one, it's family, man. We got kids. To <laughs> <laughs> you ever thought about like uh, doing movies for corporate? I thought about it. Yeah. I thought about it, but some of them they want to stay boring, man. Like, like mm. I've I've done stuff. I'm like, yo, I got a good idea. Yeah, feel me out. Like, As an actor, I was in a short film for IBM. Yeah, and it was like introducing their systems and stuff like that. But it was yeah. like we shot for several days, and we were like in an abandoned mall. And people were shooting and stuff like that, and I had to dodge bullets. And- really, for <laughs> yeah. IBM? Yeah, 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 for IBM because it was like a hostage security situation. Mm. So like people like took over the mall. Like hostages That's from dope. Russia took over the mall, and like yeah, what? Uh, but yeah, stuff like that. Be him, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, if I can find the video, I'll. I'll I would love to do this. Listen, I give my ideas. They're like, well, that's a little risky. We just want to you know, show that our laptops are pretty good. And like, <laughs> right, I but now it's like a 15, 20 minute video, a short film. Oh my god! Yes, yeah, yeah. I don't know how what they did with it or what the plan is for it, but it was a whole production. That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. I paid the actors the the normal rate, you know, yeah. nothing, no budget or anything like that. So that is great. We we've, we've had actors, but it's literally like, <laughs> like you know that type of stuff, and right. acting like the construction workers pointing to whatever because they're building whatever. Yeah, yeah. But not like a film. Yeah, like a whole script and shit. So, That's amazing. Yeah, I would love to do that, but a lot of people won't, won't do it. I'm surprised IBM did it. Yeah. I was surprised. If, if I can pitch that idea to people and mm-hmm. they take it on, oh yeah. I wonder. Yeah, yeah. Just run it with your wife. You know, she'll probably you guys could probably come up with some Heck ideas yeah. to do that. I run it through ChatGPT. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I mean Chat GPT is great, but yeah. for some things <laughs> Yeah, not it's everything. Like, no. You need a human uh, Yeah, exactly. Cause some people, man, they what should I do with uh this person? Cause they da 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 like, hey man, 
Damn. Calm Fire down. kill him. You know, <laughs> read all I'm saying? They're like, well, you can execute. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's weird, man. Like, Do you just... want to know how to build a bomb? <laughs> People ask it. Mm -hmm. People ask it. Man. Right. It's, it's I've got nervous right. saying that. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Where we at, man? Someone's listening. Man, line, man. Uh, I think people ask that thing every time. Right. Gosh. But you made a uh, uh, a big film, one of your first biggest films, right? Yeah, uh, it was like a year ago? A year, year and a half. Me and the writer were just talking about it. Um, what was it called? Uh, this one was a daily conversation. Daily conversation. Yeah, it went out to the mountains, and like total time shooting was probably under twenty four hours. Like it was a rush job type of thing. Mm. Just did it, shot it, and bounced. Um, and them, and them winning like eighty four awards. Um, we were two behind. We were number seven for the Canadian Oscars. Wow! From being nominated. Damn. Yeah, that's what I said too. And I was like, so what? The writer <laughs> called me. He was like, Dave, man, we just missed. I was like, miss what? Because he's he's like entering all the awards and stuff. Mm -hmm. I shot it, directed all that stuff. I'm like, cool. My job is done. Right. And then uh we went um like he, he was giving me the information. Mm -hmm. I said, We did what? Two away from what? He like, yeah, man. God, I hate it. I was like, dude, it's two away from you talking about Oscar. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I'm like, that's amazing. Yeah. And the way we put it together, we like, we got that much traction with that video. Mm -hmm. The stuff we're working on now, man. All right. It's going to blow that out of the water. Right. Oh, yeah. Like, we got some plans, bro. So that means that you guys entered a bunch of. A bunch of film festivals. Film festivals oh, like yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a lot, man. We got like that's, different that, plaques and everything. It's crazy. That needs a. Uh, a budget on its own right there, right? It is, but we only, gee, man, that budget probably like $2,000. Really? That's it? We just pay pay for the Airbnb. We had some good actors that were just with it, man. They wow. just like, you know, don't you ain't gotta worry about paying us. We bought food. Oh, you mean the film cost two thousand dollars? Hmm? The film cost two thousand dollars. Yeah, oh budget oh. for the for the uh, for the festivals. Festivals. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a budget for that. Now certain ones weren't as expensive. Um some of them would be like, you know, a hundred bucks to just to enter. Sure. Sixty, like whatever, but the big ones, you know, they cost. Mm -hmm. But uh overall, I mean you gotta you gotta budget it for. You know, yeah. if you want to put them in there. Right, yeah. It's all part of it. So, so you had a you had a plan from start to beginning with that? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He, he him more so because he he knows how to do the film circuit. Mm. So like he writes it up and then he he knows how to disperse them and just put it all out. So I'm oh. like, cool. Man, I, I know my lane. That's a job on its own. Listen, bro. you handle that. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna shoot these movies. Yeah. I'm gonna direct it, I'm gonna edit it, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna do everything, but you handle the mm. the, the work with that. That's great. Where yeah. can I, can people go and see it? Uh yeah. it's on my YouTube, non studio productions. Nine studio productions. Nine studio productions. Um, I'm trying to. I thought about. Do you have a? Was it Vim, is it Vimeo? Vimeo. Yeah, Vimeo. You, you got a Vimeo? I think so. Because they. Because <laughs> I start, started to get one, but I know you can look like very high quality on that site. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Unless that's kind of where. Pay us, we can do a little advertising for Vimeo. <laughs> Vimeo sponsor, sponsor <laughs> sponsorship, yeah. sponsorship. Right here, but, right, uh, here. <laughs> right here, right here. Go right in the corner. <laughs> No, uh, but uh, I guess you can do like real high quality on there, but mm -hmm. probably get one else put it out there. But right now, just focus on just getting this cast we have now and just getting this movie done. We got like thirteen people, nice. actual actors. We don't have a bunch you of actors. Call me, but, huh? You didn't call me. You're in there. What's up? You want to get in there? Yeah, yeah, I get in there. Listen, we got some spots coming right. up, like for I real. I used real. to be a professional actor. Yeah, and I used to teach acting. And really? I used to. I never knew uh, that. Uh, tape actors for and coach them for major TV and film. And they would book off of tape, off of my coaching. So. Are you serious? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. Where are you tripping? I don't know, dude. <laughs> for real, for real. Cause we've been looking for. I didn't know you knew. That. Didn't know that. I didn't know that. Huh. I thought you were just good at being on on camera, just like fucking around. I know. <laughs> oh, you do it for real, for real. Yeah, I did it for real, for real. Like oh. I was getting paid. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I so, do now. So just hit me up, bro. Don't listen. This guy has, man, he got over like 10 movies already written. Like every time we talk on the phone, he's trying to tell me about a new film. I'm like, dude, I need to focus on this one first. So you got a script writer and everything. Oh, he writes all of them. That's great. Man, he's an award winning writer. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's he's in the game. How'd you guys link up? Friend of a friend, man. He, okay. he knew somebody, and <clears throat> uh, he has all these scripts, and he knows a guy, which is my friend as well. Mm -hmm. And he was like, man, I need somebody to shoot these things, man. I've had some unreliable people. Mm. 
And he was like, I know a guy. I hit him up and just kind of see where it go. And we kind of, we linked and we like, I vetted him out because I don't really trust a lot of people. Mm -hmm. He seemed legit. And I said, all right, let's do it. All right. 84 awards later. <laughs> Hey, We've been rocking ever since. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's man. Dope. Vincent Edwards, that's his name. Vincent Edwards. Vincent Edwards. Man, yep. Shout out to Vince. Yeah, man. V. <laughs> Word up. V Dog. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's, so that was my white you. side. Come I'll see you. See you. <laughs> Hello, brother. Oh, <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. my <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> how is it working with actors, man? I love, you know, my, I love directing um, actors. I think it's, especially because, like, I used to teach acting and stuff like that. So, that was like a natural yeah. thing for me. We had to have you on set then because we got some people. We actually had to send a couple of people to like different acting classes, mm. but certain ones didn't, it just didn't work out. Um, I love working with different actors and actresses. Uh, the ones that, now you don't have to be like amazingly good, but mm. just want to learn and like really want to be here. Sure. You get some of those people that just kind of like, eh, I just need them, whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't like working with those people. Right. And it's a different vibe on my set. Like, I don't put no bullshit. We're going to work. We're going to have fun. We're going to get the job done. Yeah. So, yeah, well, you, you know how I am. I'm not, I ain't no asshole. I'm just straight, straightforward. It is what right, it is. Right, right, right. Yeah, you can't, you can't create any <coughs> kind of tension with actors on no, set and stuff no, like that. You don't want to. That, that's that's the, the worst thing you can do for actors. Yeah, get them out of here. in your head. Yep. Yep. And that first take, great. Good job. Let's try it this way now. Yeah. You know, da, da, da. So. That's good to know, man. That's a, that's a valuable thing. I'm going to be hitting you up about that. Cause yeah. If you got any actors that uh, want need some coaching before filming, bring them to me. You know, we could be right here. We could work it out, work out the scenes, and uh, make it happen. Yeah. And we could talk beforehand just to <coughs> get a feel of what you're looking for and stuff like that. Absolutely. I can maybe put some money in your pocket, too. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Sure. No, what did you tell me before, man? You tripping? Man, I don't know, man. I thought you just knew. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking regularly, you know, as homies, man. You know, I mean, I was, I was working at the, the acting studio and stuff like that. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I don't be worrying about people like that. I guess I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, know. when everyone's got their own little world, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> never knew. Uh, but yeah, no. Shot how, dope videos, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, how is it? But yeah, how is it working with actors for you? I love it. I love it. Um, because they bring everything to life. Yeah. They bring it to life. And Do you yeah. have like auditions and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, sometimes like they already have like a, the writer brings to me as a group of people they already, like he already know mm, of. Yeah. And I just kind of like, yes, yes, no, yes. You know, just kind of pick them out. Mm. Um, I appreciate people that just, they just get it. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my um, boys, Kenny Roundtree, like he dropped some tears the other day. We got another guy, um, my boy Ryan. He was on uh, Stranger Things. He did a lot of stuff with Netflix. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Iron Sharp and Iron. And when they got together, I saw tears fall out of his face. I said, yes. Like, mm -hmm. Give me all that. Don't move. Don't move it, baby. <laughs> like, let's go. And it's just, they get it. Like, I love actors and actresses that just get it. And they mm -hmm. just embody that role. Mm -hmm. And then just... You know, yes, I need it because I was studying with, um, uh, you know, Lee Strasberg technique. I don't know if you know that it's an acting technique. Okay, um, I'm one of the main ones that people learn. Uh, and I studied with the person that actually trained with him uh, in back in the seventies in New York, and so she was telling me that like uh, she doesn't like it when there's actual tears running down mm -hmm. the actor's face on camera because it answers. It, it it doesn't so when like it's bubbling when it's like it's tearing like water, up but it's not watering it. down right see that's eye. that's the best part yeah. to live in because that's then like you really connect with that actor and stuff like that and you kind of finish it for them mm. it makes sense he probably i wonder if you know about that because for the longest time he when he did it i saw the eyes water mm -hmm. i didn't know he was gonna drop a tear it was an emotional scene mm -hmm. and my boy ryan like ryan painter he, he got it out of him because mm. he's like seasoned, right? He got it out of Kenny, and Kenny was in it. And I saw it just sitting out like, what the fuck? Like, oh, I know he's not about to do it. <laughs> it was just watered up, watered up, watered up. And as soon as he walked off, it was like, Dude. yeah. I said, got somebody. <laughs> I said, yes. Yeah. I said, we good. Ain't no, ain't no one for safety. That's, we got it. Right. We got it. So that's good. God. Man, the, man listen, I'm about to put you to work. Yeah. I, 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 never, I never knew this. 
Yeah, man. That's, yeah. Right I love teaching it. it too. So it's my thing. Um, I, mean, I guess I'm a, I'm a natural teacher in general. Like everything I do, I, I tend to teach somebody. That's good. You know, and then they thrive. Like I saw, I taught um, one of my buddies, Sam, um, photography and video, mm -hmm. and like all these steps. And now he has done stuff for like Mazda and and like all these big names and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Nice. So. Sam Coulter, I didn't know you did stuff for him. <laughs> Sam Coulter? <laughs> well, you know, maybe let's not put that out there. Put right? him out there like that, all right. <laughs> we ain't gonna tell nobody, we ain't gonna tell nobody. But that's dope though, man. Uh, yeah, man, so what, what do you, is, you direct it? You direct your films? I do all of it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what's your kind of favorite part in the, in the roles? My favorite part in the roles? Yeah, oh, so like, like bringing the film together? Yeah. Um, I feel like I, that's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> like I love, like I love being behind, behind the camera because I know what I like, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm great at directing people as well. It just to direct somebody behind the camera, like somebody else behind the camera, because I know what I like. So I have to get a feel for like my DP and like what they're doing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I love it all. Like the sound, I do my own sound design. Like the Foley and stuff like that. Yeah, I love like, Foley work. Yo. Dude, they called me the Foley master yeah. in college. You don't get it in one take. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> like it's real. Like people don't understand. Like all this stuff you're hearing is not real. Right. It's all fake yeah. for the majority. You know what I mean? So, like, I love just that. It's that geeky side of me. Where I'm like, where I'm like, <laughs> like yeah. you think this girl is over here panting? It was me. Uh huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's just it just fool everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> true. Like just a little bit. So it all, I don't know which one is the best. Cause like the, the, just the running with that camera and you got yeah. the nice silky cinema lens on there. It's like, that, oh, it looks so all good. of it, I guess. Right. I mean, I like when, when I did Foley work, I did, uh, I did a video of my own and it was just like, I think it was a, a ice challenge, you know, a, a, a ALS, ALS, ALS uh, a a challenge. Song, yeah. And I, I did a thing where I was like, oh, and then I fell and mm -hmm. I was outside. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, what are, I need a thumping noise. You know? mm -hmm. and, so, and so I took my hand and just, Mm -hmm. Did that on the couch. I was like, oh, that'll work. <laughs> yep. yep. And if you get with like EQ and all that stuff, that's why to get better at. You can just start tweaking. Yeah. All this stuff. I follow this guy on Instagram. He's like Foley something. Mm. And they take a yawn, like a long yawn. EQ, what up? Add this, add this, add this. Now it's like this monster just came out of here. Ooh. Could have yeah. done, did something crazy to it. I'm right. Like, that's how they made it? <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> or like the the tight shot of the cigarette burning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like they would stick something in a pile of sand and just yes. like it would create that noise. Yes, damn. A lot of people understand that, man. Mm -hmm. The little, the little things, mm -hmm. and the, like crumbling of like uh, what was it um, the cabbage. Like smash, smashing the cabbage is like smashing right. somebody's skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use it for like zombie stuff. Right, right. Like grapefruits. It's uh -huh. gory, gory yeah. stuff. So yeah. to do all that is just, I just kind of be geeking myself like five o'clock in the morning. Like my wife come in like, you still up? You, you need something to drink? Yeah, I'm up. What's up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mad scientist Drilling. hours, man. Listen, my boy Jared, uh, he be saying that. He be like, man, the mad scientist hours. Yeah. He, he could hit me up at three o'clock and just know, hey man, what you got? What you got up? What you doing? <laughs> right. So you know I'm working. That's so funny. it's crazy. Uh, that's great, man. Uh, glad you're doing all these things. Um, and you're working on another film right now, right? Yeah, Murder by Midnight. That's the, one, that's the main one we're working on, the feature. Yeah. Feature film. I know at one point you, something got lost in your hard drives and you oh had to re-edit a film? Yes. My hard drive, um, it fell off my, uh, it fell off like the, 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 the like the shelf? counter somewhere, mm -hmm. right? And, um, the fact that it was on is what messed it up because it, it literally it, it fell on carpet. It was like boom. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay. You know how Premiere Pro is uh, when you don't have your information, everything turned red. Yeah. Like your media, da da da. Like, oh. <laughs> let me but just. I, uh, yo, I had so much stuff on that hard drive now. Like, damn. Fuck. I had to like reach out for clients too. I had some client work on there, everything. Ooh. I had to reshoot some stuff. No, it was it was bad, bro. Damn. Always put your hard drive somewhere safe. <laughs> right. all the cores so uh it sucks dude because you got dude. it's almost like you gotta have a backup for the backup <laughs> well i do now right. i got a, a real big one i just i put everything on i just put it back in the closet mm -hmm. load it up 
put it up. Yeah. You know what I do? I those hard drives that you see right there. Yep. Those are like hundred bucks, hundred like the sixty that, bucks. That the, matter of fact, the exact same one. Yeah, eight terabyte yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yep. Cheap. They're just for storage. I don't need them. Storage. Long and if I need them, I just take something out and then put in my faster one. Put it up and keep them moving. Yeah. Keep it, especially um how I shoot now. I shoot on SSDs with the Ursa. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's like memory card itself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So sometimes I just leave them on. I got like two terabyte one. And I just leave it on there until like the client work is done. Yeah. And I may put like the raw files in my big one and just put it back in the closet. Yeah. And just just keep that footage for a certain amount of time and that's it. Yeah. Export that uh that uh, project file mm-hmm. from the editing program. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then I just I tend to leave it for like at least three to six months mm-hmm. in that drive. Unless uh, somebody pay for it. Right. Yeah. <sighs> If somebody uh, pay for it, then you know you want to rent it. It's gonna that storage for you. Yeah, because there's always somebody like a month later. Hey man, you got that? Uh, yeah, eh, this link doesn't work anymore. I'm like, that was two months. Come ago. on, guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> I put in my contract that it's gonna be up there for that three weeks. I got or something some like contracts that. and everything. Mm-hmm. Boy, there's so many times where I didn't have something in the contract. I'm like, never again. I know. I'm putting it in I'm the like, contract. like, that's my fault. I didn't put it in the contract. I eat that. I eat it. Mm-hmm. But I'm putting it in the contract. Mm-hmm. It's not happening. Especially when it comes to like refunds or something like Dude, that. Dude, yes. You got you had you have some horror stories on that? <laughs> not really. They, <laughs> they contracts. My boys had some where they they got into some arguments. It was more like wedding stuff. Mm. And uh matter of fact, my wife had one with um they came back. Way later, after they said you're gonna get this amount of photos and everything mm-hmm. was sent, like I don't know how many months later, it was almost a year. Like, hey, uh, I never got these type of pictures. You got these pictures? You're like, I was like, what? <laughs> Who is this again? Like, it was so far, so far gone. Yeah. Yeah. She looked back and see if she had the pictures, but it was basically like you know how pictures get they get real repetitive. Right. So we're gonna send you the best ones. Yeah. She yeah. wanted like all the give me all the the rest of them too. Like, first of all, that wasn't even in your contract. Right. We got a certain amount of pictures we're going to give you. But she's, you know, she's soft-hearted and she's like, I'm, I'm going to see you a couple more. Mm. <laughs> but that's about it. But yeah, me personally, I haven't ran anything crazy like that. Just certain things where I have to watch my butt. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put this in here now. Something about refunds. Mm-hmm. How long I'm going to keep the footage. Raw footage. <laughs> a lot of people, can I get the raw footage? Oh, that's going to cost you. Yeah. That's going to cost you. Yeah. Maybe a couple thousand. Yeah. Because you know exactly. people repurpose that. <laughs> Repurpose that footage. Mm-hmm. Now you got to pay for that. Especially when it comes to the business, too. Absolutely. <laughs> they want to get the video plus the raw footage. Oh, that's going to run you. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you got the budget. Listen, you got the budget. I'll give it to you. Yeah. If not, yeah, don't it what it is. Mm-hmm. I ain't got nothing for you. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, I appreciate you uh, coming by. Absolutely. I know it's been a while. I wanted to catch up with you. I felt like this was a, a good opportunity. I uh, so. appreciate you having me, man. Yes, sir. I love the setup, brother. Ah, thank you, man. I love it. Yeah. And we got to have you come to the studio, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll hit you up when I'm driving by. Because <laughs> you'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and okay. I live like literally like eight minutes from the studio, too. Mm-hmm. So definitely, you over on that side, man, just let me know. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do it. You want to tell everybody, uh, where well, they can find you? Uh, YouTube, Non Studio Productions, Instagram, Non Studio Productions. And that's about it, man. I'm easy to find. I'm there. You still doing? What's up with the pies, bro? What's I up with the food? I do it. I do it by order, man, because the production is taking over. Mm. And certain ones, uh, certain ones I can't make because they stop making the actual ingredient that I use, which I'll never tell. But <laughs> um, but I, I just have to like look and see what I got because only like. I had like 13 flavors. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dave, Davis Dream Pies is his name, but Pratt's Kitchen on Instagram. He was, he was fine. Um, Cause we do food too. We do it all. Chef Boy, our beast. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think it's like four of the flavors, three or four of the flavors. They don't make what I need anymore. Yeah. Um, I have to kind of like look around, but. So is that it's something that's man. like, oh, dude, it's so good. It, it's, it's I remember good. that it was like fluffy too. It wasn't thick. And right. If you leave it in the freezer, it's almost like ice cream. But if you if you bring it out, it's nice and soft and like mm-hmm. it's perfect. Yeah. Have you like it? And he's infatuated with it. <laughs> and I meet you at the spot, man. Give me a bag full. <laughs> dude, well, uh, I remember that too. That you had like 20 of them in the bag. I was yeah, like, man. Like, like, yeah, son. It's like a drug deal. You go be good. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the chain, man. But it's, it's made to order now, man. Um, okay. You know, I didn't know if like, that was just like something you just do for fun now or. No, it's still, it's still a full business, but 
production is so much. Mm-hmm. Like I was in Indianapolis a few weeks ago, randomly just shooting. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if if cause normally back in the day, because in Raleigh I had like a freezer full, because mm-hmm. I would go downtown and sell them at the. I worked at the bar. Mm. No security, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So yeah, that's right. That's I right. would just have tons of them. So when you like, hey man, you got it all. Like, yep. How was that? that was, I've been. The, I don't know. Like <clears throat> big guy like you. Hey man, you want to try this? That's pie? what everybody <laughs> say. Like, in in talk, the security line, you know, let's all call them beast pies. Beast pies. Like, I'm oh, some, oh, I'm some beast pies. I'm like whatever. Five yeah, they're hours. nice and fluffy. <laughs> hey, listen, but they knew what it was, and that's how I made my money. Cause you ain't making money doing security, right? But I would make them triple and quadruple that with pies yeah. after the night. So. <laughs> I just, it was a hustle for me, man. That's dope, dude. I like so, that. Yeah. Like but I'm, I'm making them order, though. So if somebody said they want to, you know, tell me a week in advance and I kind of get everything I need and put yeah. them together and then we can. Hey, man, I want one. I'll let you know what flavor This, this is me telling you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's get it. I so. wish you would have told me you was a acting coach. Yeah. Uh, acting, all that. All, yeah, all of it. <laughs> I did all yeah. things acting. Yeah. The one True. thing I really loved about teaching acting is not just the acting part of it but the yeah. business side of acting as well yeah. you know like uh, okay you want to act what do you want to go with this so oh, you want to be on tv and film all right so sign up for these websites that's where all the tv and film oh, so uh, casting there. is looking right yeah. agencies or how to work with them what to expect they don't know that they don't know that shit see man. all right so it's fun hey v we got us one <clears throat> what's up hey <laughs> My name's Oliver. <laughs> He's not going to talk like that. It's all good. <laughs> he left. He, man, what's up with your boy, man? What, what are you doing? <laughs> Is he an accountant or a, Something. I don't know what's going with him. A shirt dealer? But yeah, wow. we get you right, man. Oh, that's another thing, too. I, all my own apparel, I make it myself. That's dope, dude. Yeah, man. You, you like sell them on website and stuff? I, I'm not website yet. I'm, I, we got the website to do it. I haven't put it up there yet. I just make my own stuff. And people are like, hey, man, can I get that shirt? Mm-hmm. Yo, yep. maybe like 25, 30. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yep. it's marketing, man. Wear yeah. your own stuff. I'm going to assume that you have another company doing those shirts for you. Unless you do no, it I got somebody, yourself. I got somebody. I do everything my damn self. Um, <laughs> I got somebody that, that'll make this part. And uh-huh. I have them on, on the sheets. And then we'll press them. I got I to gotta press at the office. Oh, nice. So there you go. I mean, just keep it in the house, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cheapest way to do it. Cheapest way to do it, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. All right, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. So, oh. Appreciate you, boy. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I got to get my strong hand <laughs> in order to do that. <laughs> it was a handshake for the people who are listening. No, no. <laughs> like, what's that noise? What's going on? I know. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all wrestling or something? <laughs> Good uh, stuff, man. Yeah, man. <laughs>